you also talked about the levels of debt, which is skyrocketing at a tremendous pace. I mean, Biden's just given another 100 billion to uh, the Israel and Ukraine, 60 billion to the Israelis to go blow up some kids and 40 billion for Ukraine to try and fight a war. They're clearly going to lose. So they're just printing left, right and center. But but those wars, we're, we're on the brink on the parapet of World War Three now because um, Biden had just launched a nuclear sub from the U.S. the other day. Congress has given the U.S. approval to attack Iran. Uh, we've got the Taiwan and Chinese situation kicking off. I mean, the world is at a parapet of World War Three. So gold is deemed just to go up for that reason, let alone inflation, let alone currencies drop in. Um, there's, if you imagine gold, you know, it's got like 10 catalysts up its backside, you know, and all it takes is for one of those catalysts to light and then she's going to the moon. Um, and those catalysts are supply and demand, recession, war. Um, we just come off of the biggest medical fraud in history, COVID. Oh, I better be careful. I'm on, I'm on live. I'll get the police around the door. Should we say the special C? Um, you know, all of these things are, 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 are certainly um, pushing gold up. Because as I say, it gives people a chance to get off the radar, get power, get freedom. It's one of the very few asset classes that's not recorded. And it, and it kind of gets us out the rat race, which is magic. But yeah, this debt is, uh, is going to continue to spiral until it goes bang, until the USD falls, which again is quite likely. And we haven't seen that before. After all, gold was reclassified the only other tier one asset in the world by the BIS in 2019. And... Lo and behold, is it a coincidence that the world's central banks, largely these countries that we're talking about, have bought more gold over the last two years than any time in central bank history? There will be a moment, just like the Russian finance minister has promised us, where they issue a common settlement currency. And I think it will be pegged to commodities using blockchain technology to show the veracity and the immutability. But at some point, the chipping away of the settlement of the dollar will affect the reserve status. Now, I don't know that you need to have a vibrant bond market like everyone speaks to because the whole concept of bonds and 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 taking and accepting a country's debt as an asset in a historical perspective, you know, it's it's not real it's not not real long in the tooth. In other words, it's kind of from an historical perspective a uh, uh, not something that has been going on forever and what you're seeing right now and maybe it, it's a little bit of precursor of what we could expect to see. A lot of these countries like China and Japan and Saudi Arabia and a lot of the countries in the BRICS, they're, they're shedding treasuries at record mm -hmm. levels and replacing it with gold. <laughs>